sorry, I have to ask you to keep your voice up. Sorry. So I turned my back on him. Um, I wasn't sure where he went. He was past me. And then I went back to the student that was on the ground. Okay. At that point, could you identify who the student was? At that point, I rolled him over and I realized that, that it was Tate near. Did you notice if he was injured? At that point, I knew that he had a <coughs> bullet wound. That he had what? I'm sorry. He had a bullet wound entering in the, the back of his head and exiting in the front. Was he still alive? I hoped he was. I He was very gray, but I, I started to resuscitate immediately. Okay. He what had happened? a pulse. What's that? He had a pulse. Okay. Uh, it, you knew him? Yeah. I, I had all of his brothers, and his mom was... His mom was my PTO president. Um, I've known the family really well. Okay. What happened next? Um, I just began to give him rescue breaths. How long did that go on? Your Honor, may we approach? Next, next question, please. Mm -hmm. Next question. How, how long was it? I, I, asked, I asked what happened next, Your Honor. I'm doing my best. Okay, what happened Without next? saying what that experience was like for you, was there a moment when you stopped and what happened to make you stop? Um, I continued until um, they took him from me. Okay. And what happened next? Um, it, uh, Kurt News came up. Um, he had called on the walkie to see where I was. Is that the principal? That's one of the assistants. You know, if principals. I can just get some permission to lead just a little bit so we can move past this and, and comply with the course order. But I'm concerned about an objection so that I can get to the what what I, I don't wanna to violate the court's order. So I'm just gonna ask a few leading questions so that we can move past that. What happened? did somebody approach you at some point and ask you about the shooter's whereabouts? Um, Kim Potts came up and told me it was a drill, and pardon me, you guys, I'm so sorry, my students are gonna hear this, it's horrible, but I told her it was not a fucking drill, that um, that someone had been shot, and she, um, and she kinda grabbed her gun and went. And I'm sorry, Christy, tell the, Jury who Kim Potts is because they don't know who Kim Potts is. She was um, a retired police officer who was our, our worked in our lunchroom. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. she wasn't technically a security person. No. But she did carry a weapon. Yes. Okay. And um, she, so I just said he went that way, and I just kept waving my arm that okay. way. Okay. If we go back to the map, you were at this point when you were with Tate. What classroom were you around? If you if you know. So I would have been by um, room 223. Oh, actually, in that, see, there's this little um, space between 223 and 225. There's two doors. One goes into the courtyard and one goes out of the building. That's where Tate and I were. Okay. And when you say you pointed that way, which direction? Towards 225. I didn't know where he went. I just knew he went that direction. Okay. And so if Mr. Keese can... At least, so that way. Yes, okay. correct. All right. Uh, and? <coughs> I told Kurt News that same thing when he came up. Okay, that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah. At what point did Kurt, who's Kurt News? Kurt News is one of the other assistant principals. Um, he was responding to me on the, on the walkie to find out where I was. Okay, and at what point did he appear, if you know? Um, just before Kim did, because he went into the courtyard to go see if he could get one of our um, medical staff to help. And then he came back out and realized that everyone's in lockdown, he can't go that way. So then he went out um, the other doors to get EMS. So between his, when he went into the courtyard and when he went to EMS, Kim had, had come down the hallway. Okay. And then Steve Wolf arrived shortly after that. 
okay. feel terrible because they came to help me. They should have been in lockdown. Like you should have been in lockdown. I didn't need to spare others okay. either. Okay. Uh, what what happened after that? You said eventually somebody took Tate away. The police arrived and um, um, Deputy Freiberg came up and Deputy Freiberg was one of my parents at Lakeville and when he came up to me he, he recognized me right away and came up and asked me what, was, what I needed. He was surveying the scene. Okay, what's Lakeville? Um, it's the elementary school I was the principal of. Okay. And um, I told Shane, Detective Freiberg, that it was Tate, because he knows the family really well, too. And period as though it took his breath away, and he said, I'll be right back. And so then they went and secured the scene, and that's when um, Ethan came out of the bathroom and was arrested. Did you see that? I did. They couldn't remember. They didn't know his name. They kept asking his name, so I went down and told him his name, and then I came back to Tate because I didn't want to leave Tate. Okay. Uh, were you aware that that was the bathroom where Justin Schilling was killed? Did you know any, uh, did you see any other victims that day? Oh, strike that. Uh, at that point? At that point, no. Okay. Um, have you seen the, the video yes. of, of you that day? Um, that's been marked as Exhibit 13, I believe. Okay. It's been admitted. And uh, I do want to alert, um, we have alerted our victims in the, in the courtroom, Your Honor, but um, the media... Uh, yeah, we're not going to show this on TV, okay? Right. This, Your Honor, just for the record, I did have an objection to this. I'm just reading that objection for the reasons previously. Correct. Correct. We, and we've discussed that. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay, so Exhibit 13 is not going to be shown on, on television, or, um, and I, I think that uh, the victims who are present uh, know what video you're talking about. So. We, our victim advocates are there, and we prepare them. They know that they can leave the courtroom. Okay. That's what they wish to do. Right. Is there any audio on this? No. Christy, can you tell us when you come into image? The image? So, so I'm in the image there in the yellow sweater. Okay. Can you do the ability to think that? Right there? Yes. Okay. And then can you let us know when you see the student you just grabbed that came up to you? Right there, that was him running, right there. And then the other students running behind him. Now mm. this video is, there's no sound, but this is this is in real time. In terms of, you can yes. see that, well what do you, can you describe what you see in terms of the students' movements? They are running. Okay. So that's, that's when I said on the walkie that students are running. And okay. I didn't know what was happening, and then you'll notice that the hallway is clear almost immediately. Okay. This is when I go down the 400 hallway. Can you stop it? Who is that, Christy? That's Ethan. This is me telling the the teacher where there's the a teacher the here. I'm so I'm checking doors up at the top of the screen, and then a teacher came out, and then a student joined them. And then this is me coming. <gasps> bless you. Started smelling the. This is me telling them I smell cap gun and walking towards where I heard the shots. Okay.
So right there is where I noticed Ethan because I stepped aside and said I have eyes on the shooter. And at that point, had you observed Tate? I could see Tate on the ground. Yes. Okay, we can't see him in this picture. Okay. No. See me move the garbage can. Is that is that Tate lying on the ground? With you? That's Tate on the ground. Yes. And who are you looking at right then down Ethan. that hallway? I'm looking at Ethan, and I'm talking to Tate at that point. And who's what? Who do we see? Ethan's walking up to us. From the time that you observed him, was he always walking at that pace, or was he ever running? He was always walking. Okay. And that's when I walked with him to talk to him. He wouldn't respond. And this is when, when I discovered it was Tate. For a second, who are those people? Those are the officers that I don't know which ones, but and then it looks like Ken Weaver. I think it's Ken Weaver there. And is this after Tate was already taken away? This this video or is this? No, Tate was still there. I I got up from Tate because they couldn't figure out who the student was, and I needed to tell them what his name was. So then okay, I ran so down to tell him his name. So and at, then I ran hold back. on one sec. Is it at the top of the screen right there? Yes. What, what is that? That's. Right up there. That is Ethan um, being arrested. Okay. So I went down to give them his name, and then I went right back to Tate. I think he was asking me more questions and I said I've got to get back. 